This is 2024 exam preparations and this is physics that I want us to discuss in this particular lesson. The question is saying, a uniform half meter rule AB is balanced horizontally across a knife edge pressed 20 centimeters from A. A mass of 22.5 grams is hung from end A as shown in the figure below. So this is the figure that is given and the first question is saying what is the mass of the rule? Even as we start answering these questions, don't forget this is your brother and your friend, Addison Jezuru Tuta. So I'm here to help you handle these questions. So don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe. So how can we answer this particular question? The first question is saying we find the mass of the rule. We want to find the mass of the rule. The first thing that we are supposed to do, we are told that AB is balanced horizontally. So we need to rewrite this diagram so that we uh, make it horizontal. So you are going to do this. This is the first thing you are going to do. So it is balanced on this and we are told a mass of what? A mass just uh, to bring you back so that you participate. A mass of 22.5 grams is hung from end A. So from end A, so end A is here. This is where this mass is hanging. So it is what? 22.5. So this is 22.5 uh, grams. This is what you're supposed to do. And there I'm told that it's pressed 20 centimeters from end A. So from this point to that, this is what? This is 20 centimeters. So I want you to understand this. This is what? 20 centimeters. This is 20 centimeters. It is like this. Then what else are we given? We are told that this is a uniform half meter loop. So uniform half meter loop. This is to tell you that from this point up to that point, this whole thing. So to make you understand this whole thing, this whole thing here. This is a what? Half meter rule. Half meter rule is what? 50 what? 50 centimeters. Have you seen? This is 50 centimeters. So a distance from here up to there, it is what? It is 30. So that when I add, I come up with a 50. So I don't want to go that far. I may try to confuse someone. I want to help you understand this. So once you understand this whole thing, this, that, these questions are very simple to answer them even in an exam. So what I'm going to do is this. This is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to say that, okay, for this to be balanced, meaning I need to have a distance that should be equal. So I need to have a 5 centimeters here. Have you seen a 5 what? A 5 centimeters. So that here I have 25. Even this side I also have what? 25. So meaning... It must be balanced here. This is where it must be balanced. So it must be balanced where it must be balanced here. This is where it must be balanced from here. So here I'm going to put what? I'm going to put W. So that this is 20 plus 5, 25. This all side here should also be what? 25. So this 20 centimeters is being balanced by this. Then this 5 I don't have this side. So what am I going to do? There is a short way of answering this particular question. So I want to show you that. There is a short way in which we can find the mass of the law. So what do we get to do? What you are supposed to do, you just need to say, you get the mass. So you say mass multiplied by the distance. So this is a short way in which you can answer it. Mass times the distance. Even this side, you say mass times the distance. This is what you are going to do. So mass times the what? Mass times the distance. These are methods you are going to do. So mass times distance, mass times distance. So for this one, we are given this side. What is the mass? The mass is what? The mass is 22. So I'm going to say 22.5 times. What is the distance? The distance is 20 centimeters. So I put my 20 there, which is equal to 
So the reason why I'm not converting this, this is in grams, this is in what centimeters. So the mass that I'm going to get is going to be in what in grams. So don't be confused. How come you are not changing here? If I change this, meaning I also have to change this. But I'm getting them the way they are so that the mass that I'm going to find is going to be in grams. Then I go to this one is 5 there. So 5 times I'll just put X here because I want to calculate the mass. So have you seen? So this is the length. Maybe let me write it like this so that I follow this mass. So the mass is X times the distance which is 5. This is what I'm going to do. So from here now, I multiply here. I say 22.5 times 20. What is your answer? Your answer is what? 450, which is equal to 5 what? 5x. Then you say over 5 there, even here over 5, meaning that x is equal to this and that will be cancelled. What will be your answer? Your answer will now be equal to what? 90. Then I just say grams. So this is the mass of the meter loop. This is what you are supposed to do. So I'm going to show you another method in which you can answer this particular question. We know that we can also use what we call the principle of moments, which states that for a system to be equilibrium, the sum of clockwise moment must be equal to the sum of anticlockwise moment. So you can also use that one if you want to answer this particular question. But in this, this is the way, the method in which I'm going to use. It is just one and the same thing. You get to find the same answer. As long as you know that for this to be balanced, it must be, this is the half meter loop. So we need to have a 25 this side, even this side a 20. Five. Have you seen? So we need to have another five years so that it makes 25. So this is what we are supposed to have. This is what we need to get and understand. We move now to the other question. The question is, what is the force exited on the rule by the knife edge? So this is another question that we want to answer. So for us to answer this particular question or for us to find the answers to this, what we are going to do is this. So this is what we are going to do. So before I even continue with this, I want to assume that we all know how to convert. So if you want to convert from grams to kilograms, you just need to divide this. Maybe there's someone that's saying, okay, is the answer supposed to be in grams? No, you can put this in kilograms. So you just divide this by 1,000. The answer that you are going to get, so when you divide it by 1,000, you are going to get your answer 0 0.09 kgs. It is just one and the same thing. So you can get this answer or this. It is just the same. So I prefer putting it here in kilograms because that is uh, the SI units for grams. So this is what you are supposed to do. So we now continue and look at another part. We go to B now. Hope uh, we've understood this particular question. So those of you that uh, haven't connected to me, make sure that you stay connected so that I show you all the methods that we get to use in answering these questions. So what is the force exited on the rule by the knife edge? So what are we supposed to do now? So we want to find the what? Want to find the force exited. So for us to find the force exited, we, you know that we've got this is the half meter rule. This is A, this is B. So this is at this point. This is where we've got this pivot. It is here. Then this is the mass in we the mass that we've calculated. So it is balanced on this. So this is the mass. Now, how can we find the force that is here? So you get the same answer that we add. We add 0 0.09, multiply it by 10 to find the what the force that is here. So what answer are you getting when you get that? You discover that you are going to get 0 0.9 newtons. So it is being balanced by this. Then here we add here here we add 0 0.09, which is in kgs. Have you seen? So you multiply by 10. You get this one. You also do the same. 
So I'm just going to write the answer here so that I help you understand this. So what you're going to do, you get this one, multiplied by what? I mean, divide by 1,000, then multiplied by 10. This is what we get to do. The answer that you are going to get will be 0 0.225 newtons. This is the answer you are going to get. So have you seen, this is now newtons, this is also now in newtons. The question is saying now, we want to find the force exited on the rule. So the force exited, so it is an upward force. This is the force that we want to find. It is an upward force. So what you need to do, the force exited on the rule by the knife edge is upward force. So this upward force is called the normal force. So the diagram that I've written here, it is just helping you understand what I'm talking about. So what you are supposed to do now, according to Newton's second law of motion or Newton's second law, it states that the force is directly proportional to mass and acceleration. This is what it states. So I want you to understand this. This is what it states. We have first, Newton's first laws. Newton's second laws, Newton's third laws, you also need to understand all those things. So what I'm supposed to do here on this particular question, I believe you are able to follow through. I believe you are able to understand what I'm illustrating here. So this is to tell you that the sum of all forces acting on this is just equal to what mass times acceleration. So the sum of all the forces is equal to this. So now, you know now, since the system is at rest, the system is not moving, so the system is at rest, this means that the acceleration is equal to what? Equal to zero. So if the system is at rest, not accelerating, it means that it is not moving. It means that the acceleration is what? Is zero. So this is to tell you that the sum of all the forces is equal to what? Equal to zero. Because if this is zero, whether you multiply it by 100, you're still going to get a zero. This is to tell you that the sum of all the forces should equal to what? Equal to zero. So what we are going to do, we are going to consider all the forces, these forces which are down to be what? Negatives. And that force that is up there to be what? Positive. This is what I'm going to consider. So I'm going to add everything. I want to find the net force that is exited by the knife edge. So what I'm going to do is this. This is what I'm going to do now. So that force, which is the normal force I want to find, plus this one, I've said this to be what? Negatives. So minus these forces which are up to be these are down to be negatives, that one up to be positive. So minus 0 0.225 like this, plus even this one, so plus that is negative 0 0.9 newtons. To be equal to what? I equate now to what? I equate to 0. So I equate this to 0. So I'm going to say equal to what? Equal to 0. Then I add this, so meaning that what I'm going to form, I'm going to form something that will be like this. This is a normal force minus 0 0.225 minus 0 0.9 newtons. So I can remove the newtons for easy calculations like this, equal to zero. So I'm going to add this. We know that uh, as physicists, we are also mathematicians. So I believe that we know what this means. Same signs you add. So meaning that when we add this, we are going to have something like this. Normal force, then minus. So when you add here, you need to find your answer as 1.125, which is equal to zero. You group like terms. So this one goes that side. So you have normal force, which is equal to 1.125 newtons. So this is the what? This is the answer that we found. So the whole point here is just to know that if this is at rest, to find the force exited on the meter rule, this is what you are supposed to do. So these are calculations that you need to do. These are some of the things that you need to get and understand. We've got a lot of ways in which you can 
answer these questions, but I just wanted to help you understand this. So this is something important that you are supposed to note. This is something important that you need to understand. So like this, you are done. So meaning that the force exited on the meter rule by the knife edge is what? 1.125 newtons. This is the what? This is your answer. You are done. This is what you are supposed to do. So even as we continue, we now go to our last question. We've got our last question there. We go to our last question. So for those of you that want tuitions, if you want to be helped, make sure that you WhatsApp me on this number. I'm an academic tutor here in Zambia. Those of you that are watching me from outside Zambia, this is Africa. You want tuitions help. You can WhatsApp me on this number. So those of you in Zambia, make sure you join my online lessons, even those outside. So this is my number. The subjects that we do offer at our academy is biology, chemistry, physics. So I'll say physikem, meaning physics and chemistry, as well as mathematics. And lastly, it is what? English. This is an online NS academy. So we only get to do these subjects. So now the last question is saying, name one application of the turning effect of a force. One application of the turning effect of a force. I'm going to detect this. So make sure that you understand it. I won't write it. So make sure that you just get the answers. So I'll just say the following are some of the applications of the turning effect of a force. So you get to understand that uh, whenever we using a spanner to rotate a nut when trying or when untying it. So want to tie it or untying it. Using a bottle opener to remove a bottle's cork by pushing down the bottle opener's level. And also the last thing is by applying a force to a uh, door knob so as to open the door which then turns about its pivot these are the what so here i'm just talking about applications here i'll just tell you this maybe some people wants me to write this i know so i'll, I'll say that uh, bottle opener so this is what i'm going to write here i'm going to say that bottle opener i think we know a bottle opener so that bottle opener the other thing is a spanner you know a spanner rotating it a spanner rotating rotating it is a rotating a nut a spanner rotating a nut so these are just some of the things that you are supposed to do don't forget to follow me don't forget to like and follow this channel or page thank you so much